Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we are going to check and review the Vault X zip binder. And this one is the zip binder, nine pocket side loading. Uh, loading. Uh, you can fit 360 cards. You got 20 pages, 10 on each side of this binder. So I actually bought a couple of them because it's a really good binder. And we're gonna check um, everything. You probably wanna know about this one. Um, how is the quality? How is it compared to other binders and should you or shouldn't you buy this for your collection so let's start with opening a new binder i just want to show you how it comes right off the box that's the box it usually comes with um, on this delivery it got banged a bit on the sides so let's see how is the binder that's the packaging by voltex and that's the back so really nice binder Overall, I like their products and packaging. And yes, I'm affiliated with Vault X because I truly believe in their products and I use them for my own personal collection. So you just start by removing the two duct tapes. Well, I'm gonna give my honest review, not gonna pretty this up. So as you can see, the packaging got banged a bit on the sides but nothing that actually affect the binder itself, which is nice. Good to know they are made from really sturdy materials. So as you can see, you got a really nice um, binder. You got the logo Voltex in the front and the back you got this uh, logo as well. So uh, the stitching looks really nice. Uh, the filling is kind of leathery, very sturdy. Uh, binder, that's what I like about it. It have a clean look to it. I chose the black one. There are other uh, six more colors, I think, if you want to pretty up your collection. So you got this nice wrapping on the uh, zip, zipper. So let's just take it out. I think it's a sticker, kind of sticky rubber. Let's see if I can take it off. Yeah. Anyway, you can remove it. I did it on my other one. So the zipper is really high quality. You can just really play with it. It's gonna work perfectly. I tested it for a couple of months before this review. I have several of these uh, binders and I decide to um, do a review with this uh, new shipping. So inside you get these three nylon wrappings, one in the middle, one on each side. Nothing too crazy. So 10 pages on each side, uh, nine pockets, dual sided, black background. Um, so this area is kind of leathery, very nice quality to it. Uh, it's gonna keep your cards protected inside from dust, from everything. So that's how it is, just an empty binder. If you can see it has some kind of a bend to it. That's because when you first open it and if you don't have any cards inside, it's just gonna uh, keep it like that. And as you fill the binder, um, I think after like a week, even less, it's gonna be perfectly open without any bend, really fantastic. So that's the binder. Let's check some cards inside. So I got some Pokemon cards and these sleeves are actually not a Voltex sleeves. You can also use Voltex sleeves, of course. These are the Ultra Pro ones because I'm using these ones for uh, years. I'm just going to show you how it works. Just very easy. They're basically working with any kind of sleeves in the market. They're really snug inside. As you can see, they're not going to move. I try to shake it with my full binder. It works really well. Um, so fantastic quality very sturdy um, so that's a plus now let's compare it to another binder just for size purposes I got this ultra pro kind of leathery feeling same um, style as this one so in terms of size uh, it's pretty big actually it's not gonna fit your IKEA cubes if you're wondering and yeah, so that's a normal binder. You got extra um, on the top 
and as far as the size, I don't know if you can see with the black playmat, but uh, you got like one finger of space. And yeah, it's pretty nice, the same height actually, like the thickness. And that's because they give extra space uh, between the zipper to the end from all sides, which keep your cards even more protected when they're gonna, I don't know, you drop the binder. Even on shipping, you see uh, it didn't affect the binder so much, like only here, maybe. That's pretty smooth actually, if you look at it. So yeah, pretty good quality. It's a bit, it's a bit bigger than your usual binders, that I would say. Now let's check it with a full binder, pretty full binder. I'm just gonna show you. So that's another binder I got. And I've been using it uh, recently. I have another one, a uh, couple of ones. So this one I'm used for my low arcana. And with the back black letter, when you open it, um, there are gonna be some kind of a ramp. I would say at the beginning like most binders it's pretty sturdy and as you can see they are slipped inside all the cards and it's very clear to see so that's another plus like the pages are super clear uh, it's pretty fantastic I would say like as a binder user for my collection oh another thing about the binders uh, the stitching so the spine of the binder really good it's gonna stitch well from both sides zigzag stitching very similar to the ultra pro actually and yeah it's doing a well job you can kind of play with the pages it's not gonna move or anything so yeah I really enjoy this uh, quality of binder so far from the couple of months I've been using it and yeah got a couple more so let's compare this one to quickly to the size of the zip binder, uh, ring binder. So they have another product that's the ring binder. I already reviewed this one on the channel. So yeah, if you want to use the pages, this one is probably the best option on the market. And in terms of size, um, so as you can see, it's pretty, pretty long, this binder. Um, and for example, the Ultra Pro is probably the same height as this one. Yeah, exactly the same height. So the Ultra Pro is like perfect to the ring binder. But the Voltex got a bit more space. Um, so yeah, that's a consideration. If you store it in a very limited space, then maybe this could be a, a no-no for you. But overall, I would say uh, pick it up. If you can, they're really affordable. They're actually going for the same price as most other binders. And actually you can get 10% off on Voltex products. Uh, you can use the links in the description below. And yeah, you can buy it from the official Voltex site and get the 10% off, which is pretty cool. So yeah, that was the Voltex binder review. Hopefully it helps you get better understanding on the quality, uh, the sturdiness, and whether or not it's useful for your collection. If you like this video, drop a like. Let me know in the comments below. Do you like this uh, Voltex uh, binders? Did you use them before? What do you think about them? And I'll see you next time.